It was one of the most scandalous breakups in Hollywood. America's sweetheart Sandra Bullock stunned by husband Jesse James, who cheated on her with a number of women. Now he's opening up about his kids, moving on, and what's happened since the split. He has a new book out called American Outlaw, and Nightline's Vicki Mabry spoke with him. George, it's a mellower Jesse James that we met this time, living in a beautiful new home outside of Austin, Texas, putting the past behind him and making a fresh start. He's the former star of Monster Garage. Yeah. We could get tricked, but we can't like out trick ourselves. But even more famous as the husband who cheated on Sandra Bullock, which became public after she'd won the Oscar for her role in The Blind Side. Tony, here's your quarterback, all right? You protect his blind side. At the time, he seemed like the most hated man in America. Is it true you cheated on Sandra? He fled to a rehab facility for a month where he says he dealt with childhood and anger management issues. When he emerged, we sat down for his first interview. You had the perfect life. You had mm -hmm. the perfect wife. Why did you throw it away? I don't know, you know, it, during the midst of all of it and when I was doing it, I, one, I knew it was horrible. It made me feel horrible. And two, I knew I would get caught eventually, and I think I wanted to get caught. It was me trying to self-sabotage my life. Shortly after that interview, James shut down West Coast Choppers, his motorcycle business in California, and started a new life in Austin, Texas, with his three children, Chandler, Jesse, and Sonny. What do the kids think of it out here? They love it. Yeah? Yeah. They're it's like different kids. I mean, no TV has went like way down and like computer time and they're just outside playing. Sandra Bullock also has a home in Austin. He'd hoped to keep a relationship for the sake of the children, including Louie, the baby Bullock ended up adopting as a single parent. Does Sonny still get to see Sandra and do you get to see Louie? No. No? Mm-mm. I've never seen Louie uh, since, since all, everything happened, so year and Sonny hasn't seen uh she's seen her a couple times but that's it but pretty much no contact at all for several months so it was here in austin that jesse james started to write about his painful journey his tough early life in long beach his three marriages about how a welder became one of the most famous names in the world of motorcycles he put it all in his new memoir american outlaw is the book going to redeem your image I don't know. I don't know. If <laughs> uh -oh, now I made you nervous again. <laughs> I don't think it, I don't know. I don't think it's going to, I think that's what, like, probably one of my fears, you know, like, I didn't write the book to, like, make myself look better. I wrote it just the truth. And he has a new love, Kat Von D, a friend for many years, who shares his passion for tattoos as star of TLC's LA Inc. You think it was hurtful at all to Sandra that, um, that you moved on so quickly? I can't worry about her anymore, you know? I think I've spent a good chunk of the last five or six years worrying only about her and what she thinks and what I should do and like, you know, controlling all my movements and everything else. And I don't think, I think it's time to worry about Jesse and making sure Jesse's happy. He says he and Kat plan to marry this summer. Are you gonna be faithful? Yes. Do you think you can? Yes. Professionally, he's learning blacksmithing and mentoring young mechanics as co-owner of Austin Speed Shop. All I need is like my welding helmet, a box full of welding rod, and something to make. And I'm like in heaven. He's still Jesse James, but a more mellow Jesse than I've seen before. Less wary, less angry, more at ease. God or whoever you believe in must have thought I was pretty and strong to lump that on me and if I can come out of it, if I can stand up and take all of it, and I did all of it, every single bit of it. I didn't hide from any of it. I took it all on the chin, and then guess what? I'm still standing. Well, he is still standing and, and moving ahead. And as you said, he does seem, he does seem pretty subdued, pretty... Pretty uh, subdued and actually really happy. And I got to tell you, I got out there, I've seen the pit bulls, and they were always chained up out in Long Beach. Out there, they were roaming around, they were climbing up in my lap. You could pet them. The children, the dogs, Jesse James, all different. Everybody's going to flip through the book and go immediately to the index. Sandra Bullock, what does he say about Sandra? She remains America's sweetheart. She does. Okay. So he doesn't trash her. 
he does not trash her. Okay. He said he said if if I could sell books by saying, oh yeah, I say terrible things, he did. Okay, Vicky, and a lot more of your report tonight. Tonight on, on Nightline. Nightline. That's great. Thank you.